So if you've searched for a new camera, you know that it can feel extremely overwhelming and like a waste of time, so many options, and you just want somebody to tell you this is the right camera to buy. So in this video, I'm gonna be saving you time by giving you three essential ingredients for finding the right camera for your photography, as well as giving you some cash saving tips along the way, coming up. Don't you just wanna love your photography? Welcome into the channel, my name is David Johnston, and here we really like to provide you with the best tips and tools to help you level up the success and love for your photography. And if that's you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. And, and we talk you know, gear reviews, we talk tech tutorials, we talk tutorials in the field on how to shoot the right photos. This is how to find the right camera for your photography, not mine, not theirs, yours. And searching for a camera is a lot like making a recipe. There are all these different ingredients that go into it, but the three essential ingredients that are most important for finding the right camera for you is number one, what do you typically enjoy shooting? And that may seem like a really simple question to ask yourself, but it can be really easy to get trapped into a lot of the bells and whistles that camera companies provide you with. You know, our new camera does this X feature that can help you do this, this, and this. Well, what if you even don't do those? It sounds cool and it would be awesome to have in a camera, but if you're not even using that, what's the point of paying for that? So when you're really self-aware of what you like to shoot, a lot of times it can save you not only money, but it can also save you size in a camera and it can also save you weight in a camera. If you're going on long hikes, you know you want a little bit smaller, maybe lightweight camera. Maybe if you're just stepping outside of the car and you don't want that new, light, fast camera, you can step back and say, you know, I still like the bulky, heavier bodies that provide me a lot of what I'm used to. You can go that route if you're stepping out of your car and just shooting some overlook locations. So having some self-awareness for yourself is really gonna help you decide on what camera to go with with ignoring all the bells and whistles that come up. It's also really important to watch what others in the niche of your photography or shooting or your interest in photography are using to take the photographs, especially the professionals, because they've done the research and they know what they need to get the job done. If you look at what they're shooting, you don't have to buy the same camera, but you can say, hmm, I wonder why they're using that brand, that uh, kind, that mirrorless, that still DSLR. There's a lot that goes into that, and usually they can lead you down a road to the right path. So all these in this first ingredient are gonna help you save money typically. And you know, I've done this in the past too. I've bought the wrong cameras, I've gotten the right cameras. I've got a Sony a7R II is what I'm using right now. May not be the latest and greatest, but it's what fits me and my photography. And I've learned that along the way from 12 years being a professional photographer, learning from my own mistakes and this is gonna help you not make the same mistakes I did. The number two essential ingredient for this recipe for the right camera for your photography is what is the lens selection like? You know, all cameras have a mount on their camera. So let's just take my camera for example. The Sony a7R II has a Sony E-mount lens. If I buy a Sony A-mount lens, it's not gonna work on my camera without something like an adapter to make it work. So you always wanna look at the lens selections that your potential camera has. Do you have a lot of options there? Are there not a lot of options there? Usually the newer cameras have different mounts and they have much smaller a lens selection than the established brands and established models of cameras. So look at what the lens selection is like for your camera. And if you're going to save cash on this, not only looking at the lens selection of a camera, but also what's the third party lens selection. You know, sticking with Sony, the Sony E-mount lenses are great and there's a lot of them, but I can save even more cash because there's a lot of third party Sony E-mounts. There's Young Nuo, there's newer, there's Rokinon lenses for Sony E-mounts, not to mention other brands like Sigma makes really great lenses for Sony too. So really look at what your camera company is doing with their lens selection and also what the third parties are doing with their lens selection and are those two lenses comparable to one another. Typically, if they are, you're gonna save hundreds of dollars buying third-party brand lenses versus the name brand lens for your camera. 
The third ingredient to this is what is the model number for your camera? And that's not like the A2, ZR5, you know, it's not the long model number on the inside of your camera. This is like the model number like 5D Mark IV from Canon or Sony A7R IV. Those fours really carry a lot of weight to them because that just means that's an established brand. That's an established model from that camera company. And the reasons they produce so many is because it works and people love it. And it's like the end all be all model number for that type of photography. So with landscape photography, like I do, A7Rs are great for that. So I got an A7R too, because that's an established brand model number for that in the field. A lot of times these brand new, tons of bells and whistles cameras that are gonna be coming out, they have a lot of firmware issues that can get you into some hot water. Whether you're waiting on a firmware update for that, you know, less lens selection. If I'm getting an established model from an established brand, I know that they've worked all those bugs out, hopefully, in the first couple of models, and then they've just added some cool features to that, making an established brand that much better. So what is the model number you're looking at, and what is that established brand that you're looking at as well? Now, here's some power tips for saving cash. You know, we talked about third-party lenses and how that can potentially save you hundreds, even thousands of dollars. But what about other cash-saving features? Well, I always like to buy used cameras when I can. A lot of the Sony A6000 series cameras that I have on my shelves, those are all used from Amazon. And also, I like to buy used from a site called mpb.com. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I've done work with them, but they have such a high rating of buyback policy that a lot of their used cameras are basically like new. So you're gonna get a really high quality camera on that. Another way to do that is looking at that name brand, that model number, and if it is that established brand, let's continue with the Sony example, the A7R 4 is the latest model of Sony at the time of this video. I got the A7R 2 because it was hundreds of dollars less and really the extra features that were included in the A7R 4 didn't matter that much to me and what I like to do. Going back to the self-awareness of what I like to shoot in the field, that saved me hundreds of dollars buying a camera that I knew no, not only would get the job done, but also would save me money and do exactly what I needed it to do based on what I shoot. So buy used, buy older models, and buy from reputable used sites like mpb.com, knowing that you're gonna get a high quality camera for less. I really hope all these ingredients help you buy the best camera for you and your photography. If you're buying the camera for the first time, maybe you don't know how to use it, look in the pinned comment to this video and I have a manual mode challenge in just 72 hours. I'm gonna teach you how to use manual mode just in three days. Hey, if you liked this video, here's another video that I think you're really gonna like based on this one that you just watched.